Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to learn how to find multiples and factors with the help of an interesting activity. But before starting with this video, let me tell you that we have many more Maths Art Integrated Activities, Projects and Working Models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all such videos on our website as well. The link to our website is below in the description box. For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors and some pencil colors or some crayons. Aim of this art integrated project is to understand what are multiples and factors. Also, we will learn how to find multiples and factors of a number up to 20 using a grid sheet. Along with these, we will learn how to determine if a number is prime or not using this activity. In the first step, let's take a white chart paper and draw a grid of 20 by 20. Write the numbers from 1 to 20 on the rows as well as the columns as shown here. Now students, color all the boxes of first column with red color. Next, color every alternate box of column 2 with green color. Then in third column, color every third box with orange color. Next, in fourth column, we will color every fourth box with blue color. In fifth column, we will color every fifth box with yellow color. In the same way, we will color rest of the columns as shown here. Now let's first see how to find multiples of a number. First, let's find the multiples of 1. Students, to find the multiples of 1, look at the colored boxes in column 1. All the boxes along rows 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till 20 are colored. So, multiples of 1 are 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till 20. Now, let's find the multiples of 2. To find the multiples of 2, take a look at column 2. The boxes which are colored are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 and so on. So these are the multiples of 2. Next, let's find the multiples of 3. For this, look at column 3. The boxes which are colored here are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 and so on. So these are the multiples of 3. Now let's find multiples of 4. For this look at column 4. Here the boxes which are colored are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and so on. So students, these are the multiples of 4. 
Next, we will find the multiples of 5. For this, let's take a look at column 5. The boxes which are colored are 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. So, these are the multiples of 5. Now, let's find the multiples of 6. So, to find multiples of 6, we will look at column 6. Here, the boxes which are colored are 6, 12, 18 and so on. So, students, these are the multiples of 6. Now, look at column 7. We will get multiples of 7 here. The boxes which are colored are 7, 14 and so on. So, these are the multiples of 7. Now, let's look at column 8 and we will get multiples of 8. Boxes which are colored in this column are 8, 16 and so on. So, these are the multiples of 8. Similarly, multiples of 9 are 9, 18 and so on. And multiples of 10 are 10, 20 and so on. Students, we have made 20 by 20 grid. So, we have only one colored box for multiples of 11, for multiples of 12, for multiples of 13, similarly for multiples of 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, for multiples of 19 and similarly for multiples of 20. Now students, if you are making a project, then you can make an observation table. You can write the numbers and their multiples as shown here. First, let's find factors of 1. For this, we will look at row 1. Only the box below 1 is colored. So, factor of 1 is 1. Next, we will find factors of 2. For this, we will take a look at row 2. Here, box is 1 and 2 are colored. So, students, there are only 2 factors of number 2, which are 1 and 2. Now, let me tell you one more interesting fact here. That since we have only 2 colored boxes, so number 2 is also a prime number. And what is a prime number by definition? A prime number has only 2 factors, 1 and the number itself. Now, let's find factors of 3. So, take a look at row 3. Here, boxes 1 and 3 are colored. So, it means factors of 3 are 1 and 3. Again, since we have only 
two colored boxes here. So number three is a prime number. Now we will look at row four to find factors of four. Here boxes one, two, and four are colored. So factors of four are one, two, and four. Now let's find factors of five. For this, take a look at row five. Here, boxes 1 and 5 are colored. So, it means 1 and 5 are factors of 5. And again, since we have only 2 colored boxes, so number 5 is a prime number. Now, let's move to row 6. Here, which boxes are colored? 1, 2, 3 and 6. So, these are the factors of 6. Now, we will look at row 7. Here, only 2 boxes are colored which are 1 and 7. So, these 2 are the factors of 7. And again, since two boxes are colored, so number 7 is a prime number. Next, we will move to row 8. Look at this row. Which boxes are colored here? 1, 2, 4 and 8. So, these 4 are the factors of 8. Next, to find factors of 9, we will look at row 9. Here, boxes 1, 3 and 9 are colored. So, these are the factors of 9. Now, let's move to row 10. Here, boxes 1, 2, 5 and 10 are colored. So, these are the factors of 10. To find factors of 11, we will look at row 11. Here, only 2 boxes are colored which are 1 and 11. And thus, 11 is a prime number as only two boxes are colored. Now look carefully at row 12. Number of boxes colored are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. All these are factors of 12. Now, in row 13, only two boxes are colored. So, its factors are 1 and 13. And 13 is a prime number. Now, let's find factors of 14. So, take a look at row 14. Here, 1, 2, 7 and 14 are colored. So, these are the factors of 14. Let's move to row 15. Here, boxes 1, 3, 5 and 15 are colored. So, these are the factors of 15. Similarly, factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. Factors of 17 are 1 and 17 only. So, 17 is a prime number. 
factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. Factors of 19 are 1 and 19 only. So, 19 is also a prime number. In the same way, factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. So, students, through this activity, we have found factors of numbers up to 20. Now, complete your project by adding a column for factors of numbers and whether the numbers are prime number or not. So, students, this is the end of our video. Please share our videos and channel further. Thanks for watching.